anticipating my downfall Cause I'm bright as a light and this fight they sharp as a round ball Seven Hello big world, what's perfect? It's on 1 of KOT, the almighty KOT, kings of tomorrow on my toes with the flows that fuel to the fire Grab my pad and pen, begin to talk from within Because they said my future would end up around chalk or the pen Put me on the platform since the day I was born A product of my West up with it, this little payback 33 and the third, this thing that we call KOT Kings of Tomorrow Turn it up Stage, I'ma play my part Create another masterpiece and display my art Bear witness to my exhibition It's classic, way bigger than the Empire State Building What's up with it, Big Smooth, you feel me? AKA the captain of the ship First member of KOT We making it happen, we doing our shit in sunny CA You know what I mean? California love, holla at your boy I gotta keep Climbing, running over these rappers like an offensive lineman And ain't no looking back, I'm already past that Whenever I need more fuel, I have a flashback Back. KLT Sound is a fusion of many things We haven't came with a particular name for it yet, one name But it is a fusion between worlds Between us and hip-hop, our world of hip-hop, urban, jazz Everything that goes with that, R&B Fused with Polly the Beast Produces our tracks over in Sweden with the rock, that rock feel, you know, got the musical feel, the live feel. You get all that when you hear the music side of it. Match with our lyrics, we three dimensional. You got me, you got smooth, you got payback. We three different fusions that go on there on top of that music that give us that authentic sound that you know when you hear. Like I said, we don't have a name for that particular thing yet, but right now we're gonna call it the KLT sound because it's very almighty. And when you hear it, you definitely know that you're listening to KLT. And we all three got different styles that make us who we are, that makes KLT, that makes us the king. My style is very animated. You know, I come off with my words and I say it a particular way. Like I can say something real basic, but I can make it sound like something on way some other shit, you feel me? And it's just on another level. Smooth, his name is Smooth, but he got an aggressive harmonic sound. Like his voice alone sounds like the music. Like when you put his voice on top of the sound that we come with, he sounds like the rock guitar. He sounds like the bass drum. His voice is real aggressive, like a bear. You know, California bear all up in you, feel it in your chest. PB, he got that laid back style. He come with his lyrics, he come off real, real laid back. But he still got that aggression in him that give you that feel like, okay, I feel that. So all three of us combined, it's all might. You feel our energy, our sound that come from the beast. We put that together. And it's a solid 360, 720. We go around twice. The sound is so magnetic, you can't help but the love us. My musical influences, of course, is hip hop. I'm talking about West Coast, East Coast, all types of hip hop. You know what I mean? I, I bang everything from E-40 to Snoop, of course, the whole Death Row, and everybody you know. And some of my cats that y'all ain't met yet, you know, that I bang and that influenced me to do my thing and really get to the pen and start writing down some lyrics. But before I go in the studio, I listen to anything but hip hop. I'm talking about I listen to some classical music, I listen to some country, some rock, some alternative. I listen to everything but hip hop because it takes my mind into a whole nother place and it makes sure that my penmanship is stupid creative. So when I write down something coming in a hip hop perspective, it'll be so elaborate that you'd be like, damn, what was he thinking when he wrote that shit? So I make sure that I keep my mind going in different ways musically. So music as a whole influenced me. It's not a genre that I don't listen to. There's not a genre that I don't listen to. It'll be a song on that you think I ain't supposed to know about and I'll be bobbing to it or singing the lyrics because I mean, I feel like I've heard every song that's out. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, everything that has been played and played on the radio and played anywhere I've heard it and it influenced me to do what I do now. All music as a whole. Working with Fuel Hedge, be honest, it was kind of actually better than working with people that actually live in the same city that we live in. It was kind of easy. They sent tracks, they sent their tracks, and then we heard them. I mean, we knocked it out, and it was good. It was harmony, you know? Fuel had to send us a track, and, and say for instance, uh, the Bullet Speaks. They sent us the Bullet Speaks, and, and smooth, smooth will write the verse on the spot, on the spot, then I see how he wrote his verse, listen to how he wrote his verse, then I'll probably come behind or zone to come behind or whatever the case may be, but 
lucky. Either way, whoever, however, you know, however it was sent, we, we, we knocked it out. It was easy. It was easy. Real easy. Influences as far as city-wide, you know, one of my biggest influences is, is, is one of the people that I rap with, Big Smooth, because if it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't even start to get in the studio. He's one of the people that told me I should get in the studio and start rapping because before that, I would just write just to write because that's my love. That's what I like to do. Um, other influences citywide, one of my one of my big big partners, uh, Young Melee. You know, he, he told me, and basically he did the same thing that Smooth told me. He was like, yeah, you start getting in the studio. And me being from the West Coast, influences as simple as Snoop, Ice Cube, just the West Coast as a whole, old school. You know, Marvin Gaye, Johnny Guitar Watson. You know, Erica Badu, Shade, Led Zeppelin, Kashmir, The Doors. Um, it's 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 a it's kind of a variety of my influences, but I, I have a lot of influences. That's why I'm able to do what I'm able to do now. So, yeah, West Coast though for the most. Man, it's crazy how KOTR came together because it almost didn't happen. But it, but, but you know, it must have been meant to be, so it did happen. It started out with me and a few other cats, and it's, uh, they just didn't make the cut. You know what I mean? It just wasn't what we were looking for. I talked to, to Tim, and I told him, you know, maybe I'll go in and search for somebody, and he went and he wanted to search for somebody. So I found a little payback. I told him let me bring him in. You know what I mean? And and and. Cause I feel like he had talent and, and he would be a good fit for it. Cause you know we're from the same city, same same area, same hood, all that. So we knew that I knew that would mesh well. Tim, he went out, sought out Zone. They found each other. He liked Zone's attitude. He brought Zone in. He said, you know, let's let's see how this how this guy is. We check him out instantly. It was compatibility at its finest. He came in, banged out his verse on the bullet speaks. From there on, it's been pretty much magic, you know. But like I said, it almost didn't happen. But it's destiny. You can't stop destiny. You know what I mean? So here we are today. KOT Kings of the Mall, baby, for y'all. My influences start. Uh, they start right at home. First off, my my father, he was in a band and he played music, you know. So I was always around around him. He was into jazz and things of that nature, you know. And uh, you know, so I, I listen to a lot of BB King. You know what I mean? Uh, Cab Calloway, stuff like stuff like that. Then uh, my brother, my brother kind of introduced me. You know, he's a little bit older than me. He was the first one I ever heard N.W.A. or anything from. He brought it to me. And then, uh, you know, also he was into into the metal scene, so he liked Metallica, A.C.D.C. things like that. So he he liked that Pearl Jam. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So that was that was a part of my early influence. I had a partner. You know what I mean? My partner Larry Ship. You know, Lil Luke. You know, he he. Uh, he influenced me as far as with the rapping because I always liked to rap and always liked the rap scene but I wasn't really like into it like that at first and I started jotting stuff down he told me you know what man you know he was already doing songs he was like you need to get get further into it so you know I'm like okay you know maybe I will sat down we wrote some songs and went from there I started writing music you know what I mean as far as uh, in, my, in my city you know what I mean my boy Kalo man me and him sat down together we wrote a lot of music together and, and that's where it kind of started taking off and I knew, you know what I mean, I, I wanted to get out there and, and do music, you know what I mean, and really, really pursue music. As far as people in the industry, I'm a, I'm a die-hard Tupac fan, man. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed he died before we could do some music, you know what I mean? I was a die-hard Tupac fan. I got a lot of love, you know, for most West Coast artists, D40, you know, Spice One, I mean, it goes, it, it varies. I even like some East Coast cats. I was a big fan of DMX. You know, I even like a little Jay-Z, Jay the Kiss, uh, a lot of the underdogs too, you know, so that's mostly what my influence is, you know, I like a few South cats, but, but most of all, you know, it, it started, my foundation started at home and it kind of just flourished into what it is today. And I'm proud to be doing music, man, because I'm the shit, ha <laughs> ha, that part, you feel me, that's where it is, West West. We're going hard on this music shit right now. We got videos popping, you right. feel me? We got fans that's waiting on us, man, to hear our new shit. And while we at it, shout out to Fuel Head. Uh. I mean, Andreas, Polly, Jimmy. And we are the almighty KOT. That's what it is. This is Fuel for the Kings, the movement of the future.